You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. After four weeks of interactive dialogues, panel discussions, and the adoption of 23 resolutions on thematic and country-specific issues, the United Nations Human Rights Council concluded its 50th session on Friday, 8th July. According to a press release issued by the Permanent Mission of the Kingdom of Cambodia to the United Nations Office and other international organizations at Geneva, the Cambodian Permanent Mission, represented by Ambassador and Permanent Representative Sakun An, delivered a total of 22 statements featuring normative and practical progress and accomplishments of the Kingdom in diverse categories of human rights and including the three joint statements of ASEAN. One of the main points of progress presented was Cambodia's Blossom Strategy, used for the national COVID-19 vaccination campaign, to provide vaccines for free in a non-discriminatory fashion, including for inmates and foreign residents, resulting in more than 94% of the total population being inoculated. Other main highlights included the expansion of social protection coverage since the launch of the National Social Protection Policy Framework in 2016, Cambodia's development of digital education and top ranking in Southeast Asia in terms of lowest mobile data cost, the successful integration of gender perspectives into national policies and the increased number of female civil servants rising to nearly 50 percent, the outstanding efforts to combat child labor with more than 100 campaigns held in 2021 with the participation of nearly 3,000 people, Cambodia's support to scale up actions for climate change mitigation, the exercise of freedom of expression, association, and peaceful assembly within the bounds of the law, and Cambodia's participation in the renewed call by many delegations for the OHCHRC to work in a fair and depoliticized manner. The Cambodian Permanent Mission also co-sponsored 10 joint statements during the 50th session of the HRC on topics such as promoting multilateralism, family and work balance, technical assistance, climate change, nexus of technology to good governance, women's rights, and more. 